The Arctic region is perhaps giving us the best window into how our world is changing. Temperature is rising more quickly than the rest of the world. It's a region that we don't know enough about. SAMS is leading two of the four main research projects funded by UK Science. Today, we're speaking to Dr. Finlow Cotier and Professor David Pond, who are leading these projects. Well, the Arctic is changing very rapidly at the moment. Sea ice is retreating, oceans are getting warmer, and the Arctic environment is very much one that's on the edge. It's very finely balanced. Myself and other scientists at SAMS are heading up an international programme funded by the Natural Environment Research Council, the NERC, to study the Arctic, the Arctic ecosystem, and how it's likely to change into the future. Arctic Prize is a collaboration between UK institutes, but also international partners, and a particularly strong relationship with the University of Tromso in Norway. It's a SAMS-led project called Diapod, diatoms and copepods. Diatoms are the microscopic plants that we know are important in the Arctic and the, the pod is copepod, small microscopic shrimp that teem through the Arctic. If you go up to the high Arctic and put a plankton net in the water it basically comes out pink with these, these organisms. 80-90% of the biomass can be calamus. We know its life cycles intimately linked to the environment. The environment's changing. The quantity of sea ice is, is reducing and that impacts on the physical environment and it impacts on the ecosystem from fish to, to whales, seals and seabirds. The Arctic regions are itself are very poorly explored, particularly in the dark winter months, and we're going to be using ships and UK expertise in robotics to make measurements from the winter through the biologically productive spring season and into the summer to answer our key questions in Arctic Prize. Suggestions already uh, point towards the, these calanus species being reduced in abundance as the oceans warm. 